Time for business news. Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria has reiterated commitment to develop the tax profession in Nigeria. The Tax Administration Institute says it will leverage technology to achieve its set goals and objectives. Business editor Tolulokwe Wunjobi covered the public lecture put together by the Institute with Team Evolution of Taxation as a Profession in Nigeria. Taxes are established by law in Nigeria. By implication, some tax must have been passed into law through enactment of relevant statute. Tax laws impose tax at a predetermined rate on specified incomes, profits, gains and values of transactions of taxable persons in Nigeria. In recent times, taxation has been further simplified and automated to enable easy compliance and promote accountability of the process. This public lecture put together by the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria is focusing on the evolution of taxation and the role of the institute in the past 40 years. Business models are changing by the day. The economic models are changing by the day. And the institute is equally aware of this. Yesterday's success, as I keep saying, cannot be enough to guarantee tomorrow's success. So you need to be aware of the fact that these are challenges we face. And we need technology. I keep emphasizing that. We need technology in order to manage some areas. And we also need to have some facts to guide us in our national development plan. This is very critical. We cannot be planning in, uh, in abeyance. Where leakages are stopped, where more people are brought into the tax uh, net, where the various state governments are able to stand on their own by increasing their internally generated revenue. You will see that we will be talking about 20 trillion as revenue generated from taxation. Nigeria has that potential and that is what the Chartered Institute of Taxation is looking forward to do. Professionals and business leaders present here agree that the way forward is to digitize taxation. But they want the Nigerian tax community to show more commitment in addressing the challenges of technological advancement and the new normal. They have to embrace technology to apply it in the assessment for accuracy and completeness of what they are doing. Technology will enhance that. You can imagine the large volume of things they have to do if it is manual. It's not going to be the same and you cannot be sure of the accuracy. So for them to, just like it is important for us as in ICANN, it's very, very important for them to apply technology. Now we have a national development plan, which is a good document. But what are the fiscal imperatives in terms of fiscal policies, policies, uh, tax reforms that we need to do now and over the period of the plan to be able to actualize the plan so that it's not just a dream uh, that stays in the pipeline but uh, something that becomes a reality for our people. In the past week, the Federal Inner Revenue Service reported that the service generated 6.4 trillion naira from taxation in 2021. Now, gatherings like this one from the CITN will no doubt improve tax management and administration in the country and could lead to increased revenue for government, particularly at this time. Tululokme Ogunjobi, TVC News, Abuja.